I'm gonna keep this brief, but I just have to ask, what in the block is going on with LEGO Master Builders this season? Actually, I'm pretty sure the show's called LEGO Masters, but I've been calling it LEGO Master Builders for seasons now that I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna inevitably keep saying that. Let's continue. The hit Fox show hosted by Will Arnett is on its third season. We catch them when they go to Hulu a few days later. And we're about three episodes deep. And I have to say, my family's basically checked out. The show was fantastic in season one and two. You had these very talented, creative builders coming up. Teams of two would compete against each other until there was only one team left standing. Every week we would join them in some crazy competition where they had to build either the tallest building imaginable or hang something off the side of a wall and hope it stays up. The builders themselves had different styles to them. They were from every walk of life. They were fascinating people with even more fascinating building approaches. I'm a big Lego fan myself. I suck when it comes to creativity in the Lego department. I like to go off of the manual. I like someone else making those decisions for me, but man, do I appreciate skill when I see it. And some of the stuff these creators were coming up with in those first two seasons blew me away. I watched this show with my family of three, my wife, my 10 year old son, and my 13 year old daughter. We had a blast. Every Sunday we woke up, I'd make a big pancake breakfast, We'd sit down with Will Arnett and the fam for about 45 minutes and be fully engaged. At the end of every episode, sans the first one, a team is let go. Why is no one let go on the first episode? Well, as Will Arnett said, this show's a little different. Now we fast forward to season three and things have changed a lot. Now, I do know that this show was affected by COVID, so things had to be shaken up. There was a Jurassic World episode that was very ill-timed. The movie came out months back and now we have Chris Pratt running around doing some lame jokes. It was just weird. It was out of place. But let's really break down the problems I'm having this season. For starters, the show seems to be falling into that same bull crap that most reality TV shows do, where they go for character over quality. And by that I mean this season, every person that's on here seems to have a really big gimmick. Whether it's the firefighter crew or the paramedic crew, or the Canadians, or the influencers, the incredibly awkward mother-daughter son who dress the same and things are kind of weird between them. It's great to have variety, but it's clearly coming at the cost of talent because the stuff they're building this season is so far below the standards we've come to expect in the past. And not only that, all of these teams are so one-dimensional, it's comical. For instance, the firefighters for the first episode built a firefighter cross symbol thing. It doesn't look good. It's very sloppy. So of course they won. What? Almost all the other builds were better. But I guess because they were firefighters and they built a firefighter theme, that was all it took. On the second episode, you guessed it, more fire, this time buildings that were very rudimentary looking and a dinosaur that didn't look like a dinosaur and didn't function. The goal of the episode was to have a functioning thing and the brontosaurus is like crashed, just laying there on the side of a building. It's just embarrassing. And it's not just them, the paramedics, always paramedic theme. The influencers, always influencer theme. That's like me going onto the show and every episode just doing movie stuff. Like I have other thoughts in my mind, I have other ideas. Why is it so simplistic? Why is it so lame? Another thing in past seasons, we got a lot of these cool illustrated renditions of what the builds were gonna look like. We spent a lot of time with the teams focusing on their structures and how they were gonna make things work, divide their time between each other, who was the brains, who was the brawn, and so on and so forth. This season, it's lame jokes, layered on top of lame bits. Barely are we focusing on the builds themselves. They rarely do any sort of fun animation after the build's complete. We see the final product. I don't know what is going on with this show, but it's miserable in comparison. It's a, it's, a, it's a poor cosplay of what it used to be. Will Arnett's still having a good time. The judges, however, kind of seem like they don't want to be there either. They don't have much to say anymore, maybe because even they know that the stuff they're looking at is pretty low tier garbage. The couple that got let go on the last episode, built something that I honestly think my 10 year old boy could. It was painfully bad, and it's not like it was much worse than some of the other builds. And the conspiratorial part of me thinks they picked characters that were characters and nothing more. The quality dipped because they had to find the unique voices, those that stood out and could put on a performance, not just build well. 
and it, it's come at a price. My entertainment. Oh, and as far as our family goes, my son's checked out. He doesn't watch it anymore. He goes and plays like Dragon Ball Z on the PS4. My wife and daughter are miserable with it now. They don't even want, they want to fast forward to the end. That's just sad. What a shame, do better. I want to hear from you though in the comments. Are you having the same issue? You watching this show? Are you excited anymore? Leave it below. Like the video if you had a good time. Maybe think about subscribing if you haven't as I post tons of movie and TV show content each and every week. Would love to have you brick around. <laughs> you got it. All right, I'll see you next time. Oh wow, you're still here. Since you may be stuck around because you like me and the channel, maybe brick your ass on over to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's a $1 tier, a $5, a 10, it goes up there a ways. It's for support. I do this show alone, it's a hobby, it's a passion project, I got a full-time job, wife, kids to feed, pancakes to make. It'd be nice if you could show some support there, I'd really appreciate it. 